yeah. Welcome to episode five of the Pussy Worship. May the Lord be with you. My job is usually to interpret the scriptures for the flock. Today, the pussy did some real work. The pussy went out there and mowed the lawn. It was like the pussy was rode hard and put away wet. Oh, and now the, oh, the pussy stinks. Anyway, go out and do some manual labor. If it's good for the pussy, it's good for everyone. Now today, we have a young man who's going to have his confirmation here soon. And so before his confirmation, we're going to have to have his confession. Now since he's a young man, I want to keep it somewhat informal. So we're not going to go over to the God phone. We're just going to sit down, relax, and have a man to man. Man to man to God. My child, you're about to have confirmation, which is a rite of passage. Before you can have this rite of passage, you need to confess of your sins. Now when was your last confession? And what sins have you committed since then? Father, my last confession was just before my first communion. And since then, I have pleasured myself many, many times. Many, many evil thoughts about women, including Sister Mary. Sister Mary! Sister Mary! Oh, my son. Well, let's just stay on topic here. The actual act of masturbation is not forbidden anywhere within the Bible. Many people erroneously think that Onan was punished for spilling his seed on the ground through masturbation. This is just not the case. He was punished because he pulled out when he was banging his sister-in-law. Father! What? He's a 14-year-old boy. Hey, he's 14, and I'm telling him Bible stories. You always make it sound like I'm the one who did this stuff, who got drunk and banged his daughters and then banged his sister-in-law and spilled the seed all over the ground. It wasn't me. I'm telling the Bible stories here. Anyway, he was punished because when he was banging his sister-in-law, he pulled out, thereby denying his late brother an heir to his fortune. There is no law against spilling your seed anywhere. Shoot it against the wall. Nobody cares. So what the Bible does say, and I quote out of Leviticus 15, verse 16. Now if a man has seminal emission, he shall bathe all his body in water and be unclean until evening. As for any garment or any leather which there is seminal emission, it shall be washed with water and be unclean until the evening. Now what that says to me, at your age, you probably can't afford a flashlight, which means you probably have a whole bunch of tube socks that need washing. So, my son, I say unto you, go home, wash the tube socks, and in the future, kill two birds with one stone and spill the seed while you're in the shower, thereby washing yourself and having no garments to wash. Now sin some more. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. And may the Lord be with you.